in this session we will try to understand mount external wall secret in kubernetes pod through csa volume so here external vault secret we are mounting in a kubernetes through csi volume so in kubernetes 1.25 csi inline volumes are graduated in fact i have created a video on uh, csi inline volumes secret store csi driver and along with the demo of using aws secret into the uh, kubernetes pod but here vault secret is external somewhere you hosted the vault server which is exposed the secret that secret you are using a kubernetes via csi inline volume so here vault and kubernetes so before going into the session let's try to understand how many use cases are present between a vault and kubernetes first using a vault agent injector that means in the kubernetes system pod you will be mounting a sidecar container in that sidecar container will uh, that's a vault agent that agent will be take care of the vault server authentication authorization and it will does the job for you does the job in the sense bring in the secrets from the vault server second vault kubernetes auth method so there is a authentication kubernetes authentication method right where the vault server you will configure and you will the pod will authenticate with the vault server by using a service account so service account you will be configuring in the vault server that's the second use case third one is helm chart yes same like uh, other helm charts vault has helm chart you will be installing and that helm chart will create a stateful set uh, that is we learned in a cka what stateful set so vault instance as a means vault server itself resides in a kubernetes cluster and that will provide you the secrets then vault api so vault exposed a https api as well so whereas you can use it from the kubernetes directly from the pod you can just query the rest api call right um, so here the thing is vault server you will keep it centrally somewhere and use it from the kubernetes this is one use case and other one is a custom sidecar container let's say yours is a financial organization or bank or any other sensitive organization what you will do you will create a customized sidecar container with the so many securities and all etc that you will take care of the all the authentication and authorization and uh, and you will manage the secret management process so these are the use cases which i know if anybody know more please buzz me and today's use case is a csi inline driver that's a one of the use case so so in my previous video which is available in the youtube this is the one we have went through this example so let's just to recap this is a cloud AWS Azure and Google Cloud this is a Kubernetes cluster so long story short we have mounted AWS secret manager secret in this Kubernetes pod as a inline volume the thing is when you delete this particular pod the secret will be deleted so when you change the password here change then means rotate it will be reflected here immediately so all this happened through the csi driver so we need to install the csi driver csi provider and pod secret provider and finally it will mount it to the pod and by the way csi driver topic right uh, there are uh, so many csi drivers right alibaba cloud has a provided csi driver so this page if i scroll down there are a lot of csi driver right so if you wanted to use a secret of any of the system right you can use this csi driver so today example we are using this particular vault secret right now the demo time so demo point of view i have a vault server with uh, some password is created and i have a kubernetes cluster so when you create a pod by using the csi inline volume automatically this vault secret will be mounted as a volume that volume as a inline volume as a csi inline volume and whenever you delete the pod automatically uh, this entire the secret data will be erased when you recreate a pod automatically this will be uh, synchronized and put it here and when you change the password here 
automatically it will be reflected here so in the kubernetes cluster you are not maintaining any secret but whereas the centralized system will give you in a more authenticated way that's what the this today's demo right right so let's take a one kubernetes cluster and vault server both are individual and independent right and i have a two node kubernetes cluster this is the one running in 1.26.1 and ubuntu 22.04 latest container d right and also i have a vault uh, server is installed in my local mac which is unsealed equal to true right and uh, vault at least default authentication is token authentication is enabled right vault secrets list these are the default secrets right and these kubernetes cluster and vault server i have provisioned by using this kubernetes cluster by using this github repo and vault is by using this github repo and one thing is in the kubernetes cluster level in my vagrant file i have exposed uh, 6443 port to the host port port forwarded so right then now go back here these are the two different systems now we wanted to establish a bridge between the vault server and kubernetes right so by using how we learned in the cka that first we have to create a service account and service account specific secret so right service account specific secret and create a cluster role cluster role binding right and i have a yaml file here this is a service account in the default namespace vault service account vault auth sa and this is a secret right and secret is this secret and type equal to service account token right these two then cluster role and cluster role binding right so cluster role is this right secrets and get watch list cluster role binding is this is the what the service account and cluster role binding is this one right so now if i wanted to copy and go to the my kubernetes cluster right and just clear it kubectl apply iphone f right so one service account one secret one cluster role one cluster role binding is created right this is as expected like this right so kubectl get service account yes this is service account is created and kubectl get secret right and this is the secret is created right and the type is most important service account token mean this service account specific token right right and cluster role and cluster role bind so kubectl get uh, cluster role binding and then secret role binding right secret reader binding and kubectl get cluster role space and secret reader right it's already showing me right this is the what the all created so now go back to the so right so in order to next step is we have to enable the kubernetes authentication in the vault system with this guy so in order to do that first of all this vault system should know about this system detail like what is the api server details etc right uh, and this kubernetes system is exposed in a uh, authenticated way secured way so in order to do that what we have to do is first we need to uh, get the kubernetes secret so there is a command right so it's go here right so what i am doing is echo and when i run this right so in this particular variable i am storing the secret name this secret name that's it simple right and we want we need to have a, a token as well so means whenever this system enable a kubernetes authentication kubernetes token also we want right the token is here in the secret right so here so kubernetes token so kubectl get secret uh, this is the what the token right and o oh, json path right this is the what the the token and when i do the echo kubernetes token dollar right this is the what the token this token is reading from the secret right all right now the next step is ca certificate so 
we know this guy and we know the ca certificate ca certificate where it's available in the config map so if you go here right kubectl get config map right you will see the this is the config map and if it's the kubectl describe config map and you do this there is a certificate is there what is this certificate ca certificate right ca certificate of what kubernetes api server specific so i am just reading that by using this k8 s ca certificate and eco dollar k8 s ca certificate yes this is the word the certificate right so i have exposed everything so now one more thing is remaining is i i have to tell the kubernetes api server address as well so for that what i am doing is uh kubernetes kubectl uh kubectl config view right where is my api server details in my cube config file right so if i do the kubectl config view this is the what the server so i am just storing that particular server details in a one of the variable this particular server right so right this is what the kits host so if i do the echo dollar kits host this is the what the server and uh, this is https yes this is https so when i click here automatically it will open but the thing is this is a forbidden why because even though it's a local host of my kubernetes and vault but these are the it these won't connect each other so that's why it's saying a forbidden why because you need to pass the certificate etc right so now uh, everything is uh, we have exposed related to kubernetes now vault server level this kubernetes authentication we have to enable so in order to do that how to enable right in the vault server level vault auth enable kubernetes right when you enable a kubernetes authentication so vault auth list right the this authentication kubernetes authentication is enabled and if you go to the vault ui this is the what the vault ui and access the kubernetes authentication is enabled but there are uh, no roles okay i will come there now vault authentication is enabled let's go to the slide right then with this particular kubectl vault auth secret so how to do that we need to create a vault configuration so right so now i will copy here so what i am doing is i have enabled the vault authentic kubernetes authentication i am telling the vault server that use this token use this host use this ca certificate and configure it at here that's what the we are telling so when i do this automatically configuration will be written and if you go here right and kubernetes just click here configuration you will see the all the configuration right this is just applied but still there is no role right then only it will work now kubernetes world system know about the kubernetes so, so now if i do the world read auth kubernetes config this auth kubernetes config so these are the details which has which is same what we see in the ui now go to the slide so next so we need to create a first secret here right secret in the form of a key value pair right so here uh, i'll clear here so vault secrets list so only three types of secrets are there so first i need to enable the secrets right so i am enable the secret which is a type key value pair so if you run the same thing you will see the secret which is type equal to key value is enabled so what is the now our objective we need to create a one secret is name is db hyphen pass and key equal to this password equal to something so what i am doing is so i will go the console and world kv put secret i am creating a one secret which is called db pass this is a username and this is a password and better to see in the ui this is go to secrets right under the secret there is a new secret right if you want to create a here go and create a new secret you can do but this create a db and uh, what's a secret admin at one two three this is a key value and name is this right this one and in fact you can read from here as well vault kv get uh vault kv put vault kv get uh, pwd and admin one two three this is the what the secret right now go here so so far we have created authentication and secret now our ultimate goal is kubernetes to read the secret right but the secret how you will access by using a one policy secret read policy so in the vault uh, there is a concept called policies policies uh, 
right you will be creating a one policy that secret read policy only read permission only because nobody else should uh, write so how to do that if you go to the command here right this is the what the policy vault policy write policy name is this capability is equal to read and i will go, go here and i will just go to the policies there is a policy is created right uh, right it's the same thing here right so this is a path path db secret pass and capabilities read means we are just created the policy for the secret then not on not only the policy but also we need to create a kubernetes authentication role so if you go to the kubernetes vault kubernetes configuration is there but there is no role is there right so that's what the we are creating the role here so how to create a role uh, this is the what the role here syntax right i will just clear here this is what the role what we are doing is here we are telling we are creating a role that use the vault auth sa service account means here use the this authentication role like iam role in aws or is anywhere in the google cloud or azure right Th by using this service account and with this authentication configuration just it will be referring to the actual residing service account right of, of course service account reside here but here just referring only how we are referring here vault write as a database role this is the vault service account namespace and policy is a internal app policy means like a indirectly we are attaching the policy and role to this guy so that this guy can read and communicate right right so when you do that automatically it will be created and you can uh, go to the ui and just go back here and click on a kubernetes again role database role is created when you click it here all the details are here <laughs> so these things you can create by using here as well but the thing is the best way is the console and console also you can read vault read this one so it will show in this form right so now everything is so so far what we have done we have created a kubernetes as like a CKA, we created a here entity service account secret etc and given vault level created a secret added a policies so destination side everything is good but source side how the kubernetes system know about the vault server that is csi driver so that's what the first we need to install the csi driver so how to install the csi driver first we need to by using a helm right here so first helm chart i already added so then uh, so this is the what the command right so helm upgrade this is a csi it's a name this is what the helm chart set synchronization secret enabled equal to true and enable secret rotation equal to true and 30 second interval and sync secret enabled equal to true so why why, why we are setting is synchronize the secrets and as well as a rotation is a 30 second 30 seconds the interval every 30 second this kubernetes system will go and check whether password is rotated or not so when you do that automatically this helm chart will be installed in the kubernetes system right this is installing right it's done so now uh, how to check that kubectl uh, helm ls so this is what the helm chart is deployed and this is what the version right and when you install the uh, drivers so what happened is it's created the so many things behind the scene kubectl get daemon set is creates and kubectl api resources and when you do the graph for csi so these are the csi drivers and all is created right so kubectl get csi drivers right this is the what the csi driver and uh, ephemeral ephemeral is nothing but temporary right and this csi driver space so and uh, there is a csi nodes as well so kubectl get csi nodes this is a two nodes one right and secret provider class so kubectl get secret provider class nothing is there and kubectl get secret provider state port status also not there right 
and uh, ultimately we wanted to see the pods keep ctl get pod so there are uh, two pods are running csi secret store specific csi driver right so now we install the driver but now this is not sufficient so we need to install the vault csi provider so you need to install a driver then vault specific so vault csi driver is a, there is a official github repository so if you go to this particular uh, link and there are a lot of uh, drivers well, there are so many here also vault is there right and uh, hashikarp vault csi driver is available in this official github repository and what are the steps and all so this is the what the i am doing now currently so right so in order to do that first i need to add a helm repository right here helm repository i have added which is as described as like this right and then this is the same command but what i am doing is here right and then uh, clear here what i am doing is helm install server enabled equal to false means whenever you do that it will create a server as well but i don't want the server why because i have a separate server is installed with that's what the my demo is external vault this is also somewhere both are don't know each other before my demo so that's what the and injector also i don't want i just want a csi enabled only right so whenever i enter automatically helm chart is created so helm ls then helm chart is created along with the so now what happened is one two is done right so now all all good so now let's go to the slide next secret provider resource so driver and crd not a this is a crd so i have created a video on what is a crd and all so this is the base mechanism for crd but where is actual crd actual crd is the this is the actual crd right so secret provider class right so here kubectl get secret provider class right nothing is there but when I, what i am doing is here i am creating a one secret provider class vault database by specifying the this is the kubernetes address so if you go here this is specifying a kubernetes address and specifying the vault service account right and role name this role we have created in the uh, world server level right all this configuration i am specifying here so now this is a copy path go here kubectl apply iphone f right this is a crd is created now kubectl get secret provider class this is the word the secret one so kubectl describe secret provider class space vault database so this is the what the secret provider class right this will be having a details of what is the world secret what is the world secret path what is so this is just a provider only role name kubernetes details are there right high level details but actually what happens is so here right now by using the secret provider class but with the service account you will be creating a a pod a pod definition is here right so here pod is a simple web application pod and pod is using a what service account vault auth service account which is this service account right and the mount is mnt secret store right and uh, vault database secret provider class secret provider class is a vault database so this is the vault database so means in the pod definition under the volume i am telling the pod that go to this volume go use the csi driver this is a driver name what we installed and make it as a read only equal to true and using this particular custom resource definition right and mount in this particular pod so if i copy this right go here then go to the console right now kubectl kubectl now kubectl get pod you see this is the what the pod, right? now kubectl apply iphone f and this is the what the my web app pad i done right now kubectl get pod right is web application pod is getting created it will take a time why because what happens is 
i am mounting in this particular location right here uh, this is the word the volume mount right mount path right so you mount it automatically it will sync so right this is created so now cube ctl get pod do it again this pod is running at the moment now actual cube ctl describe pod web app right i wanted to see the pod definition right here mount this is the what the service account is mounted and this is the actual mount path which i specified in this right so now cube ctl get pod i will go inside this particular path right cube ctl describe pod no not describe i will go inside this particular path right and just as such right i am here and what is the path of my secret this is the word the path right mnt secret store so cd mnt secret store ls there is a db password right that's what the we configured here right in the here db password right then so cat db password what is a here admin at 123 right admin at 123 that's what the beauty so now what i will do is so hence proved that hence proved that this secret is automatically reflected here by using this service account this crd by installing this crd and the secret driver and uh, internally it uses uh, this service account etc this bridge and all right now i will go to the world server and go to the secrets and secret right and here i will change the password to edit secret right admin it uh, 789 right and i save it right so right i will let's wait for a couple of minutes and it's just wait for so let's exit from the pod right and cube ctl get pod again right then i will go inside the pod again right and cat l cat slash mnt right and what is the path secret iphone store right you can give any path here cat mnt secret store slash db password right what happened admin at the rate 789 it's automatically synchronized right so that's what the complete demo about this uh, i know this is a little bit complicated and if anybody is uh, new to the vault i have created all the detailed videos on a vault these are the all the vault videos uh, i told here a vault policy and vault secret i told authentication method i told right so and also i used a vault policies also here so each individual concept i created a video right and uh, that's what the uh, demo uh, by the way today's example specific all the yaml files one two three and along with the steps what i executed everything is available in this particular github and i will give you the link in this particular description so thank you for watching i hope this particular video is helpful and let me know what you guys think about it and thank you please subscribe like comment and share thank you bye bye